today on Strange Medicine, I traveled to Los Angeles and Miami to learn how doctors help the body regenerate using its own cells and even the fluid from a pregnant woman's amniotic sac. People all over the world believe there is a cure, even for the most incurable diseases. Some treatments are well known, others untested. I am Dr. Juan Rivera, a doctor who practices modern medicine on a mission to uncover the mysticism behind unconventional healers, their beliefs, controversial treatments, and the magic of what nature holds that is still unknown. Our methods are just different. From homespun remedies to controversial rituals, it is strange medicine. Millions of people suffer from chronic joint pain, and at one point or another, they have been offered surgery by a traditional doctor. But some experts believe that they can manipulate the body so it can regenerate itself, heal itself. An example of that is prolotherapy. It is well known that a lizard can partially regrow a severed tail or limb. And since ancient times, healers have used external stimulation to try and help the human body heal faster. But the idea that a person's damaged tissue or organ can be completely regrown is a much more modern concept. Over the past decade, doctors have discovered that substances harvested from the human body can be used to heal tissue damaged by injury or disease. Some of these treatments, while controversial and not yet FDA approved, continue to grow in popularity. They include injecting patients with their own blood, which has been enriched with platelets, injections of amniotic fluid from a pregnant woman, and even stem cell therapy. And they may hold the key to a healthier and more rewarding quality of life. My first stop in this investigation leads me to Los Angeles to meet Dr. Mark Darrow. He's a physiatrist who treats his patients by using various regenerative therapies which include platelet-rich plasma and other types of prolotherapy. Dr. Darrow, what is prolotherapy? Prolotherapy is a series of injections. The first uh, type of prolotherapy that I started doing was with dextrose as the solution. You take uh, pharmaceutical-grade dextrose out of a bottle. So that's sugar? It's just sugar. We call it the sweet solution. <laughs> the dextrose kills a layer of cells and creates inflammation. So you inject in the area where right. there's injury, you cause inflammation, and then your own body is responding to that inflammation, sending cells there that That's are right. going to regenerate That's the right. tissue. The fibroblasts are drawn to the area where the inflammation is, and they are cells that actually produce collagen. They're the cells that grew us from a baby to an adult. The, the process of prolotherapy has morphed in the last few years, and the next step up that we started using about three years ago was using a patient's own platelets. We draw blood, we spin the centrifuge for 10 minutes. And this is, so this is blood from the patient extracted, and then the concentration of platelets in that blood that's, sample is enhanced? That's correct. What are those platelets doing when you inject them back into that injury site? They create inflammation on their own. Just having a foreign substance in the body creates inflammation the platelets also emit signals that will attract other That's you know right. stem cells and regenerative right. cells from the body to Absolutely. that area beyond that platelets stimulate growth on their own or we can use stem cells from the bone marrow which is primarily what i do and now what are stem cells stem cells are the cells that the bone marrow can produce so they're in fat that uh, stimulate new tissue also. They become the new tissue. They can actually morph into the tissue. Mm -hmm. And they're released into our body all the time. Mm -hmm. And they're regenerated all the time. And they're the things that keep us young. So all we're doing is we're copying nature with prolotherapy. And it's all prolotherapy because we're proliferating new tissue. We're regenerating new tissue. What kind of patients do you see? I see all kinds of patients. 30 to 40% of Americans 
are in pain. Uh, we get a lot of athletes, obviously. We get a lot of older people with arthritis. It's not uh, something that's accepted by traditional medicine, nor is it paid for by insurance. These therapies don't seem too intrusive, and if they work, they would serve as an alternative treatment for people suffering from joint pain and mobility issues. But I want to find out if there are risks or side effects, so I need to keep investigating. I am back in Los Angeles to continue my investigation of regenerative medicine. I am puzzled as to why this evolving form of medicine has not yet been embraced by the medical mainstream. So I returned to Dr. Darrow's office to get his opinion. I don't understand why this is not more mainstream, why is it not FDA approved. As a doctor and scientist, I'm trying to see the downside. I can't find a lot of downsides. Well, I agree with you, and, and the rationale is politics. Insurance companies pay for what their experts tell them to pay for. The experts in orthopedic medicine are orthopedic surgeons and neurosurgeons. Would it jeopardize them to have insurance pay for these cheaper procedures? I guess they want, you know, they, they'd, they'd, be the job. Surgeries. they'd be out of a job. I'm sure you've heard if you go to a barber, you get a haircut. <laughs> That's right. PRP should be paid for by insurance soon. There are now enough orthopedic surgeons who are doing PRP that there's going to be advice to the insurance companies to pay for it. Once PRP is paid for by insurance, there'll be a whirlwind of PRP being done around the world. And there are studies. I mean, I've read well, scientific course. studies on PRP. Even and with dextrose. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's not like the data, it's not there. No. There's no question it works. Regenerative medicine offers an alternative to invasive surgery for a person suffering from a physical injury. I have talked to doctors in Los Angeles who have successfully treated patients with these therapies with no notable side effects. Some of these procedures have ignited controversy due to lack of scientific evidence, but science continues to move forward. Clinical trials have been conducted with the hope of receiving FDA approval for new treatments to fight life-threatening diseases. Our body is a well-designed machine, but even wear and tear with time will take its toll. Currently in our medical culture, problems like chronic joint pain and heart problems are treated with medications, sometimes surgical procedures. But the time in which the body is going to be able to regenerate itself is rapidly approaching. Imagine that day. That is the future of medicine.